now starting. All attendees are in listen only mode. And three, a two, a one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Woo-hoo! We are so, so glad you're all joining us. Uh, I see tons of people coming on. We had over 2,300 people register for this webinar which is mind blowing. We just announced it yesterday. I can't believe all of you guys are joining in. So thank you guys so, 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 so much. Uh, I don't wanna waste any of your time. So let's get right to introductions. Uh, I'm on the right there, Nick Liebman, head of content here at Powtoon. And with me as always. Hi, I'm Narell, Powtoon's marketing scientist. Very so, excited to get into this. Ooh, so, so glad you guys are joining us. Please let us know, can you hear us? Uh, and can you see the screen right in that question box? And also please introduce yourself to us. Let us know your name. Let us know where you're joining us from today. And also let us know, we're here to talk about remote work. Are you working remotely? Has your company shifted? Is your municipality or state or country uh, uh, observing stay-at-home orders? If so, don't worry, you're not alone. We'd love to hear from you guys. Tell, right in the comments. Right in the com- right in the questions there. Let us know. You can hear us. Let us know your name. Let us know where you're joining us from. What and do you do? what's your work from home? So what are you doing remotely now? What is going on? We've got, oh man, so many responses coming in here. We've got uh, Linda, who is a chemistry lead teacher. Hello, Linda. Welcome. We've got Les, who's joining us from uh, Shrewsbury in the UK. I hope I'm saying that right, Les. Uh, we have Sol from Milan. Welcome, welcome, Sol. Uh, Kevin says, hearing you, check. Thank you, Kev. Uh, Patrick uh, is joining us from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We've got, let's see here. Ruth is telling us, I can see and hear. Thank you, Ruth. Wonderful. From Castleberry, ISD, Texas. And we have Julie from Delaware, who is teaching remote computer classes. Wow, love it. Uh, we've got Holly uh, from Jonestown, PA. We've got a lot of Pennsylvania people on the line Woo! today. Uh, who is, uh, we're also working from home. Uh, Royzen says, great start here uh, from Co Tyrone. And I work for... NICVA in Belfast. I probably butchered that. Thank you, Royzen, for uh, sticking with me. We have another Nick from Chile. <laughs> There's another Nick. Hello, Nick. Of pl- Como estas? Como estas? Como esta uh, <laughs> Great to meet you. Welcome. Okay, you guys, we've got so many people. Uh, Seth is here. Adnan is here. Leticia is here. Regan is here from Chicago, my hometown. Hello. Coming in loud and clear. My company has been working from home for about three weeks now wow amazing adriana from dallas texas we've got so you guys so many people on the line here i really don't want to waste any more of our time i want to dive right in and just let you know that we're in this together we're in this together celebrities people from around the world regular folks like you me and narelle we are all enduring this change this great global experiment of working from home and dealing with the coronavirus covid 19 uh crisis together uh and so we will pull through we will pull through and uh hopefully this webinar is valuable for you guys and we just want to go over quickly what are we in for one we're going to talk about the problem with remote work. It might sound nice at first, hey, I don't have to go to the office, but you know what? When you start putting it into practice, all sorts of problems start popping Uh. up. We're gonna take a look at uh, this particular moment in time and some of those problems. We're gonna look at why video and visual communications can make such a big difference. We've got real live examples from the Powtoon Studio. We're gonna hop out of this presentation and go into the Powtoon Studio, show, show you exactly how it works and how you guys can make short videos to increase and improve the level of communication as you work remotely. Finally, number four, your questions answered live. And feel free to ask throughout the webinar. I'll be checking them out and we'll be we'll be uh, announcing them and hopefully giving you solutions. Absolutely. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So let's talk about the reality here. Oh, what man. we're we're going through a work from home boom. It's been forced on most of us. Some people are furloughed and not working. Some people have lost their jobs temporarily, we hope, Uh, but other people who are still working are doing it remotely, doing it from home. So this is, it's big, it's not all bad news, right? No, it's not. What might appear to be dreary is actually for certain sectors, an amazing phenomenon. So we have a 
boost in home fitness. So if you have any type of instructional videos when it comes to health in your house, well, we have a great example. Um, there are yoga, uh, a yoga guru uh, couple named Kelly and Daniel Seagars. They noticed in the first week that the who... Uh, the WHO, the who's a band. Oh, I keep w doing no, that. WHO, uh, the World Health Organization. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, the World Health Organization. The second they declared it was a pandemic, first of all, it's a great, great awareness that everybody right away went to start taking care of themselves and working right. out. Yeah, the health and fitness and that uh, wellness became something that the searches went through the roof. Yeah, so if you have any type of business like that or service like that, boom, it's doubling. And we have uh, an entrepreneurial boom. Yeah. Online retail sales are soaring, and it's not always for the best reason. Some people are hoarding, some people are stress shopping, right. some people are bored. But in general, if you're on the other end of that and you want to sell your art or your product or your service, great way. And the last is a virtual learning boom. Whether you're with distance learners or you're training, this is the one area that is actually hiring people right, right now. Right, exactly. And, you know, you can see this also reflected in the kinds of communications that are happening inside organizations as well between employees, right? Yes. Learning, uh, being able to be empowered as a team to make progress on something, even though you're not all in the same room. That's kind of sort of like entrepreneurship inside a business. And then all of those supplementary kinds of content. It's not about necessarily getting your job done, but it's all those things that make life livable yeah. right uh, and you know here's here's what the reality really looks like for most of us when we're working remotely though. <laughs> either our internet connection is so spotty or maybe it's your whole neighborhood like mine uh mm -hmm. that it, you can get three sentences into a call and then freeze up uh maybe you are drowning in note in slack notifications and facebook notifications and whatsapp and emails ding, and ding, calls ding, 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 ding. Uh, or if Maybe you've got all that handled. Maybe you're completely on top of that, but that doesn't handle what you're supposed to do with your kids whose school has been closed, right? Uh, so it's all it's all well and good to know how to work in a, an environment that's quiet and controlled that you're used to with your colleagues around you, but working remotely. This is a new world. It's a new world. Whole it's new a whole world. other beast. And guess what? Zoom is not enough. It's not enough just to do a video call and, and say, it's oh, a, now yeah. we're in the same place. Now we've now we've now we've gotten our heads together on it's that. It's our default. Yeah, it's our default. But the truth, tell me if this is familiar. You're on a call and your manager they're, they're also stressed and they've been called to another call. Okay, I'm sorry, I gotta hop off. I hope that's all clear, click. Was it was it clear? Happens a few times a day. <laughs> Was it clear? And nobody has bad intentions. No, no one has any bad intentions here. It's just we need to relearn how to do all of those things we used to do organically and physically in the same place. It's not enough to just say, well, you've got the technology, make it happen. Uh, so that's why you need something like a visual communications platform. That's the difference we're seeing in people who are using Powtoon, right? They're able to build and maintain that positive company culture, even though they're not in the same place. They can stay strategically aligned at the company level, the team level, individuals, uh, which makes it so much easier to be decentralized and actually get something done. Finally, they can easily, easily make videos that make their colleagues, their managers, their direct reports, their whole, if you're the CEO, the whole company sit up and take notice. And we'll show you how soon. Yeah, absolutely. We're talking about company announcements, weekly updates, data sharing and knowledge, meeting recaps, solve that Zoom problem I was talking about a second ago, training and upskilling. We're seeing a, a huge boom in people. Wow. Listen, you know, it, I don't, this is something I've got, I, you know, I usually, for some tech things, I'll just tap someone on the shoulder. I'll just, I'll just, hey, you know, Nathaniel, hey, sorry, can you, can you do this? For, I just, I, I don't know. It's, I can't figure it out. I don't have that luxury anymore. Like many of us, we, you know what? I need training. I need to see that in a video. Oh, how do I do? Okay, right. Now I know. Now I've got the right. I also, security, all the things that are built in and baked into an office, we need to build those again. Employee onboarding, employee celebrations, inspiration from the CEO. And wellness. appreciation. We know you guys are working super duper hard. Absolutely. And it, and it makes a huge difference. There's four reasons. And these are just the tip of the iceberg. There's so many other reasons, but these are the four we wanted to share today. What are these four reasons why communicating visually is so important for remote working? Number one, better information processing. Narell, what does that mean? Well, video helps employees absorb information quickly, and that's really critical when regulations and guidelines are changing on a weekly, daily, or even hourly basis. Exactly. Okay, number two, avoid 
miscommunication. I think that this one's kind of obvious, but maybe not. Why is this so important? Well, video is much more expressive than all those emails and messages that you get. And by sharing a video, let's say it's packed with bright colors versus something nostalgic like black and white, the sender's intent is more clearly understood. You're, you're adding intention yeah. cues. You're communicating on multiple levels. You're showing, not just telling. Uh, number three, it's a welcome break. It's got that fun factor. Right? What's this we're, all about? We're used to long threads of text on Slack and Jira and Monday. And I and love all, those platforms. And we love those platforms, <laughs> but it can just get overwhelming, right? How do you know what's important? And also, how do you keep from glazing over? Well, with a video, you can add a little personality, a fun character, something that breaks it up. And also, that feeling, that positive feeling of watching that content will help your audience remember what you had to say and emphasize those things that Amen. are the most important. And Number four, and I think this is the most important, they actually get watched, right? Yes. How many emails have you sent with information? And then the person you send it to said, now what's that information? Well, dude, I sent it to you, man. You know, but if you send a video that's engaging, that's short, that's to the point, and that has that most important information in it, then it's actually going to get watched. It's actually going to get That's right. We, we actually sent a survey to all professionals across fields. And they said that video messages were viewed more than any other form of workplace communication. Absolutely. So that it, that holds true today, even when you're remote. It's even more important when you're working remotely. And guys, this isn't just theory. I want to tell you about... Who is this fine chef? This is Roland Fry, buddy of mine. He works for Skyguide. Skyguide is... Uh, they train the air traffic controllers that keep the Swiss skies safe. They're part of the European, uh, uh, you know approach to keeping uh, air, air travel going and running. Uh, he works as a training and e-learning expert. And he, this, is what he, this is what they've been able to do with Powtoon. Powtoon enables us to share our best training explanations with our entire company. Until now, these lessons were exclusively provided in the classroom, but now we make Powtoon videos available through our LMS. Students can watch the videos where, when, and as many times as they want. And that has never been more important than zero limitation right now so we know listen guys we know what you're thinking don't panic if you haven't made a video before if you don't have design skills if you if you're just like feeling overwhelmed i don't even know what to say or how to use this how do i even find the time guess what guys don't panic don't panic we were exactly where you were absolutely and it, that it, the only way to learn is to buy is to do right so we're going to show you guys we're going to we're going to dive right into the powtoon studio seth has been saying over and over i want to see the videos i want to see the examples here we go here we go we're there we made it so here if you, if you guys can see this is the powtoon studio this is what it looks like we've just sort of taken uh two one or two slide video ideas these are seven very powerful ideas you guys can sprinkle into your communications to just add that touch of awesomeness to amp it up to the next level and to really connect and communicate with your colleagues working and everything you're about to see all these slides were just taken straight from our templates exactly. they were one or two scenes taken from our templates we didn't build them from scratch but we're going to show you how you can make them unique for yourself exactly so we'll just watch this first one here and i just want to also point out the first couple are square videos which you can control right up here uh, and a square video is great, especially for a social media platform, or if you're using like Facebook Workplace as an internal comms platform for your organization. Anytime you've got something that looks like a news feed, you're going to want a, a square video there. It takes up a little bit more real estate and gets your video in front of people. Right? That's perfect. Reagan asks, how is how does the format of, how is the format affected if you do internal comms versus external comms? Mm, yeah, definitely. It all depends on the channel that somebody's going to be seeing it on. So if you're communicating, let's say you've got a company intranet, right? Uh, you've got uh, like a blog posts per important uh, announcements and things like that, then you might want to embed a wide video there. Or if you're posting your videos on YouTube, right, to be seen publicly, though that is traditionally wide uh, uh, aspect ratio. The square is for, like I said, news feeds, social. There are times when you might be doing that internally or externally. And then finally, vertical, right? This is for anything that's meant to be viewed like a story or be viewed on a phone. And this is more and more and more important every day as people become more and more mobile. So I hope that's a that quick yes. explanation explains that's what that's great. all about. This this one is square, like David I said. David says he's never been to the studio before. You've never been in the studio before? How oh. about we do a quick 
quickie Let's do. 60 second overview. So it, maybe even a little bit less. Right here's your slides list, all of your slides, and that should look familiar to anybody who's used any kind of slide deck or presentation software before. Down here's your timeline. That's where you control the length of each slide and the entrances and exits of everything that's on the stage. Over here is where you title, save, and export. This is where you choose your look. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit if we have time. And then right here, I'm going to blow right through these. You've got scenes, pre-made scenes, backgrounds, text, characters can be found right here, props. You've got your different kinds of shapes, images, videos, sound, and specials. So there's all sorts of things here. We're not going to be able to go through every one of those, but we're going to hit them as we go here, showing you guys how to optimize these video examples. Let's talk about our first example. Let's talk about our first example. I just want to one more time point out, Shyam says, these are already built. What if you start from scratch? You always have the option to start from scratch Absolutely. on a blank screen. We took these scenes from an already existing template and there are tons. We have all, hundreds of templates. Yeah, absolutely. So let's jump right in. We will. And, uh, and and this one, we're going to kind of focus on these examples. We will be doing more trainings in the future that do cover starting from scratch. Uh, so don't worry. There will be uh, content around that coming to you very, very, very soon. But also a lot of the tips and tricks we're going to show you here, you can use to great effect even if you're starting from scratch. Okay. This first example, we're just going to play it, see what it looks like. Now, we, we played that without the sound. I hope that's okay. That's just kind of a technical situation where we're at here. We want to really kind of focus on the visuals uh, and how to do those. So let's let's take a look at that. There's an invitation to a, uh, a virtual happy hour. So happy, happy hours, hours traditionally the time where people can talk about non-work-related issues, mm -hmm. bond, connect on a personal level, and it's mm -hmm. really important, especially for teams. Yeah. And being a remote worker shouldn't stop you from doing that. Absolutely. So this is this is something that is is useful. It's good even if you're doing it like say on your team level. If you're not going to do it for the whole company, that's okay too. This is something that you can quickly customize, share with people, get them a little bit excited, hopefully get that buy-in so that everyone is there. And that's one of those pieces of replacing and rebuilding that company culture that used to happen physically in real life at the office. Now you can start to use video to make it a reality even when you're working. Okay, so let's say I'm HR at Starbucks. Okay, yeah. How do so, I make this Starbucks see? So the first thing, definitely, you guys see here, we got a placeholder for uh, a logo, your logo here. So we're just gonna swap this guy. And I happen to have Starbucks logo, but if you had a logo for your own organization, you could just upload your image and have it right there. Uh, very, very easy. One click and just drag it on there. Or you can search through and connect to all those other platforms. I've got mine set up right here. So that's easy. One click, it swaps right in. Ooh, pardon me. Are there tutorials available? There are tutorials and everybody will receive a replay. There are a lot of questions Absolutely. about that. You can get a replay to see how we do this step by step. Don't want to interrupt Nick. No, Continue. it's all it's all good. Yes. Starbucksifying everything. There are, yes. If you guys, by the way, if you are looking for any kind of help, uh, you can check out our help center, which has a whole lot of resources. And also you can connect to our tutorials page right here in one click. So that's no problem at all. You know, Narelle, we've got the logo, and that's nice. But these colors are wrong. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's all wrong. This doesn't look like Starbucks to me. How am I going to, if I'm working for Starbucks and we're trying to keep our, even though our stores are closed in many locations, we're still trying to stay connected with our teams while we're making it through. How do I make this more Starbucks? Okay, we need company colors. We do. But that's a unique green. Mm, yes, 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 it is. So right. let's uh, let's try and eye drop that green. Let's do it. So what I'm going to do, you guys can see that this, uh, this overlay on this slide here, the color is blue. I'm just going to click the quick menu for the color and I'm going to grab the color sampler. This thing is so handy. You can also, by the way, just simply enter a hex code or use um, this palette here to scoot around or use this color sampler. One click, I've got the Starbucks green and now this background is green as well and it's going to really bring that coherence to the brand right there. That was just a Beautiful. couple of clicks. We've been able to customize it for the company. We've been able to make it in line with the branding. And it's also something that's exciting, going to keep rebuilding and, and connecting people during this time of disruption. Kendallin yeah. says, if you're not working for a company mm -hmm. that, and you just want it to be a nice invitation, let's say for an event without yeah. your logo, can you remove the logo? Of course Absolutely. you can. Absolutely. Watch this. I've just got it 
selected here. I did that by clicking on it. Or you can also, any item on the stage, you can click on it down here in its card, and that will select it. And then I'm just going to hit the delete key on my keyboard. Boom. It's gone. It's gone. It's easy as that. So every object has its matching icon underneath on the timeline. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. OK, should we keep going? Should we look at the next example? Let's keep going. <clears throat> OK, so another another uh, situation here. We're just before gonna... we start. Oh, yes. I want to tell you, Nick. Yes. How much I appreciate you as an employee. And if I had to pick an employee of the week, this pouting would be for you. Uh well, thank you so much. I want you to know that I would pick you as oh, my Pow Team employee for the week. All right, let's take a look and see what this looks like. Company announcement, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations, Janet. You're our remote employee of the week. You guys, this is another thing. Just simply recognizing people's hard work. When we used to be in the same building, you'd you'd kind of get a sense of it. You'd you'd be sitting at lunch and you'd hear about, so, oh, and they finally finished that project. Oh man, did you know that what Janet did? So listen, this is what we're gonna do. First of all, Narelle, I am honored that you would consider me as the remote worker of the week. So Nick, let's just change that quickly. There we Beautiful. go. Now here's the problem. I don't quite look like this lady, do no, I? No, let's swap you for an, a Nicky looking. Yes, that's what, <laughs> okay. someone a, a little bit more Nick-like. So I'm gonna click swap right there. I had the character selected again. I'm just gonna click out of that. Again, you can select her here or by clicking on the stage, just like this, swap. And now I've got all these other characters, but you know what? This is not quite the right character set. This isn't quite, I want to get one of the characters from another look. So I'm just going to- Modern Edge. Yeah, I'm going to go to Modern Edge because Modern Edge has Dream Team. That's where this character is from. It also has the Omnis. Man, I love the Omnis. These are more oh, advanced man. characters. Uh, who a have lot of different pro professional outfits. A lot of different outfits, a lot of different looks, a lot of different poses. And let's see here. I'm, I'm just going to go with this guy here. I know he doesn't have a beard. That's okay. We're just Okay. Gonna, we're just you go. shaved for the webinar. Yeah, let's go pretend I shaved for the webinar. So here he is just saying hello. Oh, just got to reposition him slightly. But Nick, I want you to be really happy. Ah, okay. No problem. I'll click here for pose. Here's happy. Woo. I'm Woo. just going to, again, just, just resize him a little bit. That's easy to do. Click the corner and drag. Wow. And there you go. Congratulations, Perfecto. Nick. You're our remote worker of the week. That easy, that simple. Another thing we can do here. Michael says, I'm assuming that you can add a picture instead of a character. Of course. Absolutely. If I had a wonderful picture of Nick right now, I Actually, would add a picture. Guess what? I might. I might have that. Hang on. Images. So I'm going to click images. I clicked swap, but I'm still in swap. I'm going to go to my images. And actually, well, here's a picture of Narelle <laughs> from something, a video I made earlier. And I've got all these pictures of me that are not going to look very good. But where's my good one? I've got a headshot, you guys, somewhere in here. But I don't know what it might be. Let's, oh. do, let's do Dan Nathan. We love Dan Nathan. We love Dan Nathan. So Dan Nathan, he is our head of UK operations and also the head of customer success. Here we go. Yeah, he deserves it. Dan. But Dan's in London, so how can we make this more mm, More London-y. London I got an idea. Let's change this background. What do we think? Yeah, let's just change this background. Again, swap, one of my favorite functions. Now let's look at backgrounds. We have so many different options here. You can upload anything you want. You can choose a solid color, use the use the hex code, use, use this color selector like we mentioned. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's that's a nice, nice blue. That is a nice blue. Or you can also upload images. We've got premium images available for Pro, Pro Plus, and agency plans. Uh, we've got premium videos. You can add a video to the background. Uh, all Ooh, these... Maybe we'll add a video let's to the do... first slide. Let's do that. So let's take this first slide. We're going to just going to take this guy out for, for a second. And then for the background, we're going to swap and we're going to do a video. These are some of the free images. And I just want to look for London. So Easy search is right there. Oh, you can you can hover over these guys to preview, see what they're like. So boom. And then I just want to do one thing because when you use a video background, all of a sudden it's a little bit harder to see our text. That's no problem at all. I'm just going to simplify this a little bit by adding shape, very basic shape, just a circle. It's the secret to having video with text. Yeah. Always have a background box or circle or shape. And I'm going to do a few things here. First of all, I'm going to arrange it. I'm going to move it all the way to the back. So it's as far back as anything that's on top of uh, anything that you'll see here on the timeline, right? It's the furthest layer back. And then I'm also, I just want to change this text 
to be a little brighter. Mm. Red? Red. Red. Why not? And last thing, my circle. Yeah, it's hiding the flag. It's hiding the flag. I want to see what's going on behind it. It's 100% opaque. I want it to be more transparent. I'm going to pull down the opacity. Boom. So now, and we can even make the color here like blue. Look wow. at that. So now we can see the flag. We can see our text. Uh, we haven't disrupted any of that. And we've got Dan Nathan and his Union Jack uh, heralding his... Oh, I forgot to mention, you guys, one very important thing about using video backgrounds. You'll notice that our video, and this will show you that, this our video is 10 seconds long, but the slide we're on is only three seconds long. So this is showing seconds one through zero through three of our video, and Powtoon just spit the remainder of it here onto additional slides. You can just delete those, and it will not mess up your timing. If you want this slide, this to show a different part of the video, you can have it begin at second one, second two, second three. So now it's showing seconds three through six, et cetera. I hope, hope that's nice and clear. You guys, I don't want to get bogged down. I want to head to our next example. This is actually a okay. horizontal. So I'm just going to switch our aspect ratio there so we can see everything on the screen. And what, what are we in? Well, should we play it? We'll just play it. Let's play Let's it. Let's play it. Beautiful. So this is clearly for someone who's just been just hired. Just been hired. They have to set up their passwords, their accounts. You know, I know that we we just hired a new person on our marketing team who's started since we've been working remotely. That has definitely been That's a hard. new experience. Yeah, without uh, meeting anybody, you know, she has to have everything set up technically. So so that's so this is this is one of those that we know that this is useful because we ourselves have been using this. Uh, but you know what? It might not. Maybe some companies aren't hiring right now maybe think maybe people maybe are being you have more clients maybe, maybe you have yeah, a, a maybe, service maybe you have a service and you want to onboard new clients so easy just double click here you can access the text hey i'm diana from customer Ooh, customer come on nick customer success boom now we, we already switched the character out mm -hmm. and we know how to do that so let's just watch this once through as uh, a use case for customer success right there we go. All we did was change one one little word right. to two, and now you have a totally different use case. Yeah. So if that can accompany uh, your all that setup material that you want to deliver, it's just one more piece that makes it a little more personable, a little more connected, a little more engaging. Heather says, can you add voiceover? Absolutely, you can add voiceover. So like I said, this in this particular um, session, we're not going to be focusing so much on yeah, sound. Yeah, because these are quick messages. Um, but I definitely, definitely, definitely am working actually behind the scenes on a rogue tutorial that's going to be all about uh, doing sound, doing voiceover. Uh, it's fun stuff. If you do want to know just briefly, you can add a voiceover under sound, under the sound tab, you can click add voiceover. You can upload an MP3 or you can record it right here. You can even go over to Voice Bunny or Fiverr and hire someone to Amazing. record it for you right there. So oh super, my God. super easy. Shane is saying, we only have three minutes left. Oh no, only three minutes left. Okay, you guys, we got to keep going. And I want to see the seven examples. Okay, I'm so going to show them to you right now. Here we go. So here's another one, a wonderful example. Better communication, remote work training, right? You want to invite people to these trainings. We know there This is a training invitation. We know we know people are excited to learn these skills. They need to learn these skills to get their home offices set up, to get their communication skills in order. Guess what? Invite them to that training. Make sure that they that it's on their radar. It's not going to get drowned out in that pile of Slack notifications about yes. every little thing that's going on or another calendar invite. Send them something that's going to make an impact. Okay, here's another one. Uh again, You'll watch it and tell us what you think. There we go. Beautiful. So quick tip. Now, we, we're all using tons of apps, right, to be able to do our work. This is something that might come from your IT director. Well, our IT guy, Michael, I know is actually on the uh, webinar, listening to the webinar tonight. Hey, Michael, shout out. Um, and, and again, when we were in an office, this is, I'm a huge offender when it comes to this. I just go tap Michael on the shoulder. Michael. Hey, where's Michael? Michael, can you help me with this? Guess what? Not going to happen anymore. Yeah, I, 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 could... I don't even notice when we need to do a security update. My colleagues are telling me, Norel, did you do it already? You're going to get in trouble. Right, exactly. So here we go. If you want a quick update, so boom, just call this Slack. You know, your Slack update. You know, you know log, log in, in, click, or whatever you have to do, so whether you... it's double confirm or reset or... 
Um, right. And this is one way, you know, especially if you're an IT professional or if you're a learning and development professional, you're, you keep getting the same requests for the same information. This is the kind of thing that you can create that will answer that, that you can just simply send out every time you get that request. You get Zoom, you can do the same thing for Zoom. Boom. All right, you guys, uh, let's keep going here. We're almost done. I really thank you all for your patience and I promise you we're gonna get through this as quickly as we can. Another example, yeah, just give a us one a few slide. more minutes. Just a one <laughs> slide. Look at this, team appreciation. We did it, way to go. Team with Martin, let's call it, hey, why not? Yeah. Way to go. Marketing. I, it's always my favorite to say. Way to go, <laughs> marketing team. Boom, boom. And of course, if you don't have a picture of all you guys, I think it's a great idea to put a picture of you guys because we can't see each other now right. other than through video. So a nice reminder is a picture of us physically. Right. But you can put something related to the project. If it was a campaign for ads, then you put a cool image from your best yeah. ad. And again, under images, we also have free images available, premium images for premium plans. So there's other options. We actually have over 1 million yeah. premium videos and images. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So tell me about this. Let's watch this one and see what this is all about. Boom. Yoga meetup. Now, this is another thing. Many, especially high tech companies, right, would have this sort of bring a yoga teacher to the office. Maybe there's a nap room. Maybe you got a game room, right? How are you going to replace that? How are you going to invite people to have those wellness experiences so that their experience with work and working isn't just pain? Yes, right? people, we want you to avoid burnout. Exactly. And it's important for your upper management, for HR, for internal comms to send reminders that it's time to take a break, to breathe, yes. to do yoga. All those things. And you know what? Guess what, for guys? For employee well-being. Not only can you do this, post this as a video, post it on your social, send it in Slack, all those sorts of things. You could also, if you've transformed this into a GIF, it could be the header for an email that yep. you're sending um, out. A moving header. Exactly. All right. Last one. This is a. Uh, this is actually our bonus. I don't know if you guys <laughs> caught this. That was already seven. This is our bonus. We're just going to play this real quick. This is based on an ad template. Yeah, it's uh, an ad template. We but have. but it's uh, but it's real fun. Here we go. Boom. Virtual coffee dates, ladies and gentlemen. We've also been doing these at Pouch. So don't be latte. Don't be latte. You're invited to share a virtual coffee break with me today at, you put the time and you put the channel <laughs> where you're both going to meet. Absolutely. So these are just all great examples, out of the box thinking ways that you can reach your remote work employees, yeah, colleagues. And, and it's the kind of thing, you know, it doesn't, it maybe won't seem like it, but that feeling of being overwhelmed, the inability to close a task, the, all the endless Slack threads, email threads, calendar invites, the instant you and your team start applying a little bit of creativity and a little bit of video and visual communications to that mix, the easier it will be for everyone to handle it. I just also want to- Faith says the latte one's her favorite. Oh, love it. Thank you, Faith. <laughs> You're my favorite. And I just want to say uh, here very, very briefly, people mentioned sound. Yes. Not only can you upload a voiceover, you can also add a soundtrack. We've got tons of soundtracks available for you guys here. If you guys are willing to wait another three minutes. Oh, wow. Three for, minutes. Through to the end of our, our uh, webinar, we'll add a little bit of sound so you can see how this looks. Yeah. We'll do that right at the end. But first, yes. but first, but first, ladies and gentlemen, we are so, so grateful for your time. We promised you two painful mistakes to avoid. We want to be sure that you have access to that. So here are the two painful mistakes that you need to avoid. Number one. Social distancing is not only for people during an epidemic. It is for your design as well. Yes, that's right. Don't forget to leave space. You want to have less than 30 words on a slide. Yes. Definitely less. And this is actually pushing it. This is this is 28 words. 28 on words on this slide. And so this is about as many words as you're going to want. Two, font size, 30 plus. Big, bold characters so people can see what the text this says. This is 34, what you're looking at Don't now. forget, someone might be watching this on a mobile device, right? So that, even though it looks nice and big on a screen, it might be very small if that screen that's being viewed on is small. And then finally, hierarchy. Separate those ideas. What does that mean? Like you see the title, the subtitle, and the bullets are all different type of style or color. Yes. And also, by the way, it's not just about the text. You also want to have a little bit of margin, a little bit of spacing for your borders as well. We so, cannot stress this more. If you add a one centimeter border, this is maybe the biggest mistake that people make when when they when yeah. they make a pout tune. If you just put it within those borders, you're, it's design proof. It's going to look good. So those are our, 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 the design mistakes to avoid. And then, by the way, you guys, here's another, the second mistake to avoid, 
not checking out our remote working guide, that's a mistake. Avoid that mistake. Go to go.pouching.com slash LP slash remote dash working. You'll also be receiving a link to this in your uh, in, in your follow-up email, which I will tell you about in just a second. So much juicy stuff. So Templates much for all Templates. These- Links to blog posts, interviews, tips and tricks, and it is a living document, you guys. We are constantly updating it as we are all together learning how this remote working thing Catherine is Catherine says, work. is there anything for remote learning? Yes, we Absolutely. also have a guide for remote There's learning. There's also a guide for remote learning. Uh, so that's just go.powtoon.com slash LP slash remote dash learning. And you'll find resources there for remote learning as well. All right, you guys. Tomorrow, you're going to receive an on-demand uh, video version of this webinar so you can watch it whenever, wherever you want. Remember, this is just a taste, just the beginning, just seven examples of videos you can use to enhance the way you're communicating visually as you work remotely. So you're going to receive that via email. Also want to remind you guys that there are, um, we want to be sure everybody has access to all of the plans that are available and that you have access to if you, for instance, you need advanced export options if you want access to more characters all those sorts of things more templates we've got special pricing available during this time for businesses we've got special uh options for educators for teachers special options for non-government organizations non-profits and charities so please christabel please, please. said i was waiting for this don't you worry. You we do want to get your special offer. We do. You get a special <laughs> offer. Don't worry, you guys. Um, we want, and if you, especially if you head to uh, those landing pages, follow the directions in the email you'll receive tomorrow, then you will find the resources you need. If you don't, just email us, just guys. Email us. Webinar, we read every single email. Webinar at powtoon.com comes straight to me and Narell. Uh, and so if we you, try and answer every we, single We try one, to answer every but single one. But we do one. read them all. We read that, them. It helps us know what to put in the right. next webinar. Build for the next webinar. It helps, us, it helps us know how we're doing. It helps us know what you're struggling with so that we can also, by the way, not just put that in our marketing content for you, but also we can we can get the attention of our product team we can get the attention of our dev team we can make sure and find out uh if if the product is moving in the direction that you guys need because this is it we're doing yeah, this we base our features you. based on what you ask uh so this is so this is super important please 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 reach out to us and be in touch let us know also did you, what, what did we miss what can we tell you in the next webinar and finally we work we from work from home, home dare, dare you. you make a two slide quick powtoon video for your work colleagues, for your remote work colleagues, do this, do it with Powtoon and whatever you make, don't forget to make Make it it awesome. awesome. Thank you guys. Looking forward to hearing from you. Check your email boxes tomorrow for the replay. Thank you so much for your patience.